I am beyond excited, guys. Like, I said, I, oh my God, do you hear that? We are back at Next Level Motorworks, and today could be the first start of the refreshed LBZ. Oh my gosh. But first, we had to make a quick pit stop. They needed a part to get the one truck off the lift, to get the LBZ up on the lift, to do some of those final touches, and I got that part right here, so let's... Okay, Tony Becker, sporting the enthusiast stickers. Becker uh, Landscaping, uh, that's a uh, very nice work truck you got there. Dang, 2020, Denali, absolutely. Eight foot bed, nice. What's happening? How much, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. What's up, What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map. Never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships. Red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know. It's an off day, now we on road, came from smoking in the hallway Now we got shows, boys feeling like Broadway Always look both ways, even on a crossway Driving down Cross Bay, our town Barclays Really on big tanks, came up a small way Championship rings, baby, that's a ball game Oh, she want a little bag, baby, that's small change yeah, that money talk. If we ain't cool, then cut me off. No breaking news, don't run your mouth. Thought it was the plug, now he running off. Thought it was a plug, now he running off. What you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map. Never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships. Red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Whoa, whoa. Don't do that, we the best coming out of BK, I thought you knew that Step up in the function, all these women like, who that? Got me looking like money, yeah, they love me, yeah, true that Big racks, new bag, new swag, we ain't cutting no slack Why they mad, don't do that, nah, cause they ain't never put us on Now they wanna come around and see what's going on, nah And we don't follow protocols, we some kings like sis, no oh waterfall Oh my god, this engine went from looking, ah, you know, okay, it's an LBZ though Wow Take a look at this. What you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map. Never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Guys, after about two weeks, the engine is completely wrapped up. Has fluids, has everything. Still got a few final touches that we gotta do. He's gonna rerun the fuel lines right there back to the fast directly. So we're getting rid of all the factory hard lines and all that stuff. So we gotta do that, yes. Can't crank it over quite yet. But all of the engine works in. As you saw, this color looks amazing on the truck. We gotta throw track bars on yet too. I am really disappointed that that SD card corrupted and we couldn't show you my reaction to when Jack showed me all this stuff because wow. This truck is gonna be transformed from a badass rig to a incredibly badass rig oh you can see it there you can see a little bit of it right there those fresh clean heads in there all those clean wires and hoses power coat right there i mean come on this truck is just gonna be absolutely insane the diff cover back here with the new rear end oh my gosh oh my gosh wow look at that thing gonna have to get up under there and shine all that up Get all that undercoat looking nice and pretty. Wow, this truck is coming along. Excited to hear it. So excited to hear it. I don't know that we're gonna get the first start today. I think Tyler still has a little bit of time to work on this yet, but it, it's happening soon, real soon. Before and be standing on a track, but it'll get the job done, I suppose. Wow, how I miss this thing. Whew, soon enough, we'll be back in here cruising. Wow, driving a truck without any power steering and 12 wides is not a fun task by any means, but we're in, safe and sound, wheels are great. We're ready to get the track bars on this puppy. Wow, did I mention that was stressful. All right guys, we're out of next level for today. We got some other problems that I need attending to. So let's hop in the best car ever made, Volkswagen Jetta 05. Puppy's never gonna die. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Oh God, hopefully I get home. The next day. Today is the day. Let's go start the LBZ for the first time. All right guys, so last night after we got this thing pulled up on the lift, Tyler knocked a few odds and ends out. He got the fuel lines all soft lined in all the way back to the fast back there. That looks incredible. All this wiring harness, absolutely impeccably clean. Got all the piping shined up in here. And Whirly sent this bad girl. 
the billet aluminum skid plate, which looks freaking clean. Oh my gosh. It's the little things. And on this build, Tyler has nailed every single one of them down to the wiring harness, the fuel lines, to the fast relocation. This truck is going from a sweet truck, like I said before, to an absolute one of a kind badass build. Thanks to that guy right there. Yay! <laughs> one of the final touches we're doing is putting the track bars on, which I am freaking pumped about because it'll be a nice little teaser about what's up under the hood. I'm wrapped in bubble wrap right now, but plus with the diff cover back there, it's gonna look absolutely insane. Guys, like I was telling you, we got soft lines up here for the fuel lines now. So you got those fuel lines right there that go all the way up to the CP3. Come right back here to here. They go to the fuel lines from the tank and the fast. And then all that goes back there. And now we're gonna work on fixing up the fast because it's leaning a little to the one side. Guys, it is finally time. We are going to try and crank this thing over. Hey, okay. Oh no, it's broken. Oh my God, it is alive. That's still 64 in there doing work. It is actually working. Wow. Oh my God, that sounds incredible. I cannot wait to hear that thing under load. Words cannot even describe how excited I am to drive this truck, hear this truck, and just experience this truck because it's basically a whole new truck at this point. I am beyond excited, guys. Like I said, I, I don't have words. I'm so, oh my God, do you hear that? I don't have words. I'm so excited. The LBZ is back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time in the vlog, we are going to listen to an LBZ, an oh-so-iconic piece of engineering. I are up with my ever-so-favorite VGT Turbo, which is the Stell 64, and I am so excited to share this moment with you guys. Jake, fire it up, brother. Give her a little bit of juice, would ya? Listen to that whistle! Oh my god! <laughs> back there real quick here. It's completely different. <laughs> up there it sounds so oh good. Oh my goodness, Dude, I'm excited. You can, all right, all right. You know how the LML, how you can hear all that turbo up front? Yeah. You can hear it in here. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's hear this. Bro, it sounds. 
I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, Ryan it. from Whirly's calling me right now. No it's way. almost like you... No. Ryan! Where are you at? Where are you <laughs> Why are you stalking us like that, bro? <laughs> Why don't you enjoy this moment, would you? <laughs> Ryan, I see you, dude. And uh, hey, we gotta say thank you guys so much to Whirly for seriously taking our builds to the entire next level. Obviously, our builds on this channel are complete without some Whirly custom fat piping. And you know what? We just wanted to give you guys a chance to experience it for yourself with the OG 2.0, which is Dream Diesel Giveaway number 19, and you could be taking it home with $30,000 cash on top. So you might wanna click that link below because, trust me, yeah, these sound good on the vlog, but they sound way, way better in person. It's true, I can, I can, I can attest to that. It, it sounds absolutely better than amazing. <laughs> so boys and girls, let's do a quick little walkthrough of what we got here. We did all of this in a vlog in the past, so I feel like I'm repeating myself. Because I think everybody's equally as anxious as I am to go for that first drive, but I just uh, wanted to go over as, everything. As you are. Yeah, I mean, I guess you are <laughs> I'm too. I'm pretty freaking high. Selfishly, I'm just like, there's no Jake. I'm just worried about Jeff. <laughs> So we had got over everything when I surprised Jake with this beautiful Whirly Custom Fab overhaul, as I called it, before that SD card took a massive dump. And on top of that, we got a Stell 64 from Duramax Tuner that went over to Whirly Custom Fab. They ended up doing the powder coating to get it all to match and look oh so beautiful. So I decided to go with the teal color that would match the silver birch that this truck is. I don't think there are many colors that would go as well other than teal. And it was kind of pulling on my heartstrings a little bit because the Mini Max had this exact same color up underneath basic body style Duramax you guys get the point Jake are you happy with that color uh yeah there's a little bit of a risk I know happy's mm. I didn't think that you would hate like mm. any color specifically but yeah no it looks great <laughs> okay good 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 <laughs> All right, guys, this is a full Whirly Custom Fab engine outfit, right? So starting from the left, we've got our coolant expansion tank and reservoir. Then we've got our intake that feeds into the elbow into the Stealth 64. Again, manufactured by Duramax Tuner, but they're in Illinois, so they actually sent the compressor housing over to Whirly Fab to do the powder coating, so it's a cool little combination. I gotta say a huge thanks to Duramax Tuner as well. Now we have the Fleece Cheetah 63 on the LML, AKA the OG 2.0, AKA the truck that you could be winning. And honestly, it's six half dozen one half to another. I honestly love both companies. They're both ran by very genuine enthusiasts, and at the end of the day, I am all for that. But this turbo right here, the Stealth Series, is absolutely Awesome. I don't even know how many I run now. OG, the L5P, Long Bed Larry. A lot. <laughs> Honestly, I can't keep track. Okay, so back into the piping. We've got our Y bridge and, and passenger side intercooler pipe set up. Then over to, of course, the driver side intercooler pipe, all fed into the front mount intercooler. We've got a freaking sweet custom laser engraved with the enthusiast holy grail master cylinder reservoir cover. That's a mouthful and a half. And then a brand new piece by Whirly Fab is this upper radiator hose relocation kit. It's almost kind of somewhat inspired by the Duramax vans where the thermostat housing is actually up and through versus down and around. So it's a very nice improvement. Plus I feel like it occupies a lot of what is typically kind of just dead space here on the classic body style Duramaxes. Really fab, you guys knocked it out of the park with that one. That is a sweet mod. Then you guys can see the actual thermostat housing itself is also powder coated to match. That's pretty badass. Now I've been extremely sick for the past few days. I don't have COVID, I got tested. I think I might have walking pneumonia, but I'm on an antibiotic now. So I'm gonna let Jake go into all the other details of what Tyler did to this thing while it was stripped down. Oh my gosh, where do we start? All right, well, we stripped it all the way down to the block. It needed a head gasket job. It's, it's Thermax that has a couple of miles on it. It was bound to happen at some point. So we head gasket wasn't that bad. You guys saw that. So that got done. He ripped the whole wiring harness off and made it look all pretty and nice in there. It's all tucked up away. It's not over the piping or anything. So all you see is the nice, beautiful Whirly Custom Fabs. There's some other odds and ends. He redid the fuel lines. They're all soft lines now. So that's all cleaned up back there. So normally they just let these hoses hang down and you know, if you're cool an expansion tank, you know, overflows, it goes through the hose and just runs down. He mounted it to the bracket down here. So it flows down and out, but it fixes the hose right here. So it stays looking yeah, it doesn't wobble or anything like that. That is nice. Getting black all over. Good work, that. Tyler. Good work. I, 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 I see you, dude. I see you working. We ripped the firewall off back there, which was oh, all, all like that insulation disgusting. just hangs yeah, down, it dude. Like it gets nest. gross. It looks gross. Absolutely. So we ripped all that off, cleaned that up, put the head gaskets in. What else did we do? What else did we do? Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Did you guys know that ARP head studs smell fantastic? No, really, like... <laughs> if you haven't smelled them, go buy yourself a set of head studs. What do they smell, smell like, Jake? 
I would give it like a coconut vanilla kind of flavor. Like it's real tropical. It's really good. Like go sniffing studs. Like actually don't. Uh, this, is, this is a disclaimer. Do not go sniffing studs. You do but not condone this activity here on the Dirty Mike's Jack YouTube channel. <laughs> if you ever get a fresh pack of ARP head studs, <laughs> give them a little sniff and tell me they smell bad. So we put ARP 425 head studs in here, making that head just sit on there perfectly and nice and secure. Don't gotta worry Definitely about won't have any movement. movement. So we really did a uh, top end refresh on this pretty much entire truck. And yeah. now this thing is sound, it's ready to rock and roll. Granted, it's L an LBZ and it's got a little bit of miles on it, but everything looked really good in the cylinders yeah. as per what Tyler had said, which is awesome. It's very reassuring. And now this thing is tight as a whistle. And whistle it and does. And whistles a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I happen to also surprise Jake with a few more little goodies. I wouldn't really consider them little goodies, but they're freaking awesome goodies. Come take a look at this. Bars. Color matched. Oh, they look so good up against that freaking color too. Like that is a perfect combination. Wonder what else looks really good? It's almost like I would have made the decision myself. Surprising. Wonder what else looks really good? Take your hand up at that. Oh yeah, that looks real good sitting Ooh. on there. Dang, dude, that thing looks fresh. Look at that color combo between that track bar and that diff cover right there. Proper amount. Quite the coordination. And then is there one other thing? What would that one other thing be? Oh, yeah, there's a whole new rear end in it. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> that differential. Yeah, that whole thing. That that. Oh, yeah, that axle, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, one, that one came out of a donor. R.I.P. to the dead truck, but... Hey, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Oh, oh, I forgot about that completely. We only sent out one of their freaking just like touches on these trucks. Look at that billet aluminum skid plate. Ooh, man, that is fancy, bro. Are you kidding me? That's a first for any of the trucks that ever came through here. Oh, it is, isn't it? I like it. Ooh. Whirly Fab with the product placement. My boys, I gotta say huge thank you to the enthusiasts over at Whirly Fab. I've been working with those guys for years and years and years. And the cool thing is, I'm in Pennsylvania, but they're in Illinois, but the internet has created a family-like bond that I'm oh so unbelievably grateful for. Seriously, they make an amazing product and they still, to this day, offer free shipping for anything on their store, from a skid plate to a diff cover to track bars to an intake piping set or a transmission with discount code enthusiast. You're welcome, my friends. Wow, we, uh, we really need to learn how to shut up. How long have we been talking for? Like 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be another one of them vlogs that just breaks YouTube. Yeah. I want to go for a ride. Yeah, looks like ride 030. Okay, perfect. It's about that time. Dude, the LBZ's back on the road. Lancaster County just got that much better. Yes, sir. We should all have a moment of silence because Jake really is not good at sharing his attention. And that poor Jetta has gotten more attention the last few weeks than it has gotten since this LBZ came into the equation. <laughs> yeah. And unbeknownst to it, it's it is about to be completely <laughs> exiled again. <laughs> you need a paperweight? <laughs> yeah. It sounds so crispy. It sounds so good up here too. I don't know what sounds better. The fans like going right there. Ooh. <laughs> 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 This is why I love the Stealth Series turbos, boys, because they do this, and they do that! My face hurts. <laughs> it's just the perfect amount of whistle. It's almost like they invented the whistle. <laughs> Stealth 64, inventor of the whistle. Or the perfecter of the whistle. Perfecter of the whistle. I like that more. I hope my battery doesn't die. We have one bar. Oh no. One bar to experience this monumental moment together? Dude, we're on borrowed time. I hate feeling rushed. I know. That's it, gotta step on. Does it feel any different? It feels a lot different. It feels a lot different. It's the turbo actually spools rather than just makes cool sounds? Right, so and, and another thing I noticed is, I didn't get on it, get on it there, but I kind of gave it enough that with that other turbo, it would lose like power. You could hear it going in and out when it was shifting the transmission. With this one, it stays spooled. Like you can hear it staying spooled when the transmission shifts. Yeah, and this is gonna pull power all the way through the RPM range yeah. rather than just, the last turbo that was in this thing sounded amazing. So there's no discrediting the noises that it produced, but from a performance perspective, it was essentially a stock turbo. Yeah, with upgraded bearing and shaft, I think, or something like that. And really all it did was 
make the truck sound cool. Which it, some might argue is worth it. It sounded cool. It's In my opinion, cool. though, it's nice to have the best of both worlds, where not only does it perform well, but it sounds just as good. What are you looking at? What are all you all looking at? You got a staring problem. It's rude to stare. Oh. Oh, now you're coming to join too? What do y'all think? Definitely sounds way better, right? You let me uh, just speak on your behalf with that? Are we all, we all agree? I got your concur, yep. Yep, 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 you especially, I know you like, yeah, I know you really like that turbo. Sounds awesome, yeah, I know, it just gets you hyped up. How you doing, my friend? Yeah, yeah, you really like that turbo, I'm sure. Cows love it. Yeah, you got all their attention, they're all excited now. So there you guys have it. The new and improved LBZ Duramax for none other than Jake from Enthusiast. Dude, what do you think? You happy? Understatement. All right. The static would be a better That's word. the goal. I wanted to share this entire story and document it with you guys from surprise until this point in time, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But hey, it is what it is. The LBZ is back and in style, sounding and strutting stronger than ever. Now we're about to roll Squad D back to the homestead, but I just got to say thank you tremendously to Tyler from Next Level Motorworks. He really makes it happen. And what I love so much about working with the man is the fact that not only is he a young entrepreneur that's out and getting it, not only does he qualify for supporting local Lancaster business, which the man OGs know that that is a huge priority of mine, but also because he really genuinely does fantastic work and he's not all about the clock. He likes to do what's right. And that is something to be spoken for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to wrap up this upload. So if you haven't grabbed your 10 times entries for the OG 2.0 and $30,000 cash already, then I definitely consider doing so. No pressure, but this is the biggest multiplier for the entire giveaway. And I don't want you to miss out on a truck that is literally the perfect balance of form and function. That being said, hit the thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you all in the next upload.